What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chabon Stunner. Got a great one tonight. When is too old to continue gaming? Let me rephrase that. When should you stop gaming based on your age? And I know to the folks that's listening to this, that sounds crazy. And that's a kind of crazy question to be asking. But, hell, that was a question that was asked to me, so I want to pose it to you. Uh, when should you stop? At what age should you just stop gaming? Should you turn in the title? Hang it up. Say, fuck it, I'm out. Holla. When I leave, come together like butt cheeks. What, I mean, really, when should you quit gaming? Um, I had an argument with a guy the other day, um, and he basically told me that I was too old to be gaming. I need to be doing something else with my time. And I was like, okay, like what, motherfucker, building wood benches or, or, or something in, in, my, in my shed? I mean, really, what, what should I be doing that's better to me? than gaming and uh you know the, the the individual really couldn't give me an answer but they just said that at a certain age you should stop gaming and you should uh <laughs> you should do something else uh and i said okay what 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 is the something else and they, they, they really couldn't give me a good answer they just said that gaming wasn't the answer so i tagged this person as a hater and moved on but I wanted this to be the topic tonight because there's a lot of people that actually believe that way. Um, you know, I liken it to the same. For instance, there's people like, like me. I'm one of them people that like to stand out in the line and wait for a new product. I like to stand in the line and wait for a new product because I just enjoy meeting people and waiting in line for shit. Um, I, I can't explain to you why I do. I, that's just what I like. Hell, I also like going to Walmart at 3 in the morning to see what kind of people are going to be there. Uh, that, that's just what I do. Um, I can't explain. That's the way I'm wired. I'm sorry. You know, if you like it, great. If you don't, you know, so what? Um, but I, I can't explain why I enjoy gaming and what I get out of it. Um, except for it, it, it starts with an early itchy. Uh, I remember back when I was a, a kid. Um, my, my dad died when I was very young. He died of lung cancer, and I don't really talk about it much. But um, my older brother, uh, one of the things he would do for me when I was a kid was we'd go to Diamond Gems. I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with Diamond Gems. But we'd go to Diamond Gems, and um, I'd get about $5 worth of quarters, and I'd go probably two or three times a week. But that was what I did to have fun. And there was this X-Men game I liked, and I liked the Ninja Turtles game. Um, you know, that was the shit. There was this cool Terminator game I remember now that I'm thinking back. But, um, I would go and that was my release. And, you know, when Mortal Kombat and, and uh, Street Fighter came to the arcade, it was like, holy shit. Um, and Rage, when you played as those monkeys and the dinosaurs, I don't know if anybody remembers Rage, but it was a cool game. Um, but we would, and we would, uh, Killer Instinct, all these games are just popping up in my head right now. I can't even damn talk. <laughs> but, uh, and look, I mean, it's bringing a smile to my face now. But you sit there basically and you take your quarters and you stack them up. No, baby, I'm not. <laughs> uh, but, but you would take your quarters and you would stack them up and you would, you know, just go through, go, go through your quarters until you got either, you, until you either lost or. Or, or something happened where you had to uh, move on and you know that was that was cool um, it was it was a great experience you know um, I, I live in a military town so I was always going up against soldiers and you win some you lose some but it was always fun and you plot on how you would come back the next day and you know at this time computers and shit weren't really all that big I mean we, we had like computers around but it wasn't like like it is now where it's a household item and so you know you every uh, all of your education on games came from from the uh from the arcade um that or either you know um i had a nintendo and i had a sega and we'd invite people over and we'd go uh 1v1 on some mortal Kombat or whatever the case may be uh corded controllers in in your in your room or your living room and that's the way you did it that was that was the way it was done um and, and it was fun um, 
you know now look at look look at how far we've come i just think it's so fabulous what you can do with games now and so many people discredit what you can do i mean you you can talk and play with people all over the world that you otherwise would not be exposed to and get to see how different people do different scenarios and the the best part of it all is that you've always got someone to play with so when i look at gaming um, you know, it was very therapeutic for me as a kid and You know, it helped me through a really tough time when my when my dad died and I, I really felt like shit and It's something that stuck with me off and on throughout my life, you know um, You know that there was some there was a, a period of time when I put the game down when I was like 17 years old because I was more um, interested in the JJ than the gameplay but <laughs> that round <laughs> but you know um at the end of the day i still uh you know i came back to gaming um and i and i enjoy it so much and i love it so much and it's it's been a release and it will continue at least for me to be a release it's something that i can that that i can hold on to um at at tough points in my life um that that helps me out and i'm sure you guys can relate you know when 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 nothing else is there for you you know you've always got your game you've got your online friends and you know you can you can get on there and it'll make you feel better for whatever amount of time that you're playing the game um so so ultimately you know i i, I think it's sad i'm moving back to my uh, original point in this video that some people think there's a, a time stamp on when you should quit gaming or when you should quit doing what what it is you love to do and i i think that that's some american shit to be honest um and 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 i'm an american but i think that that's something that that we have instilled uh, particularly in the south which is where i'm at was that you know when you become a man, you read the newspaper, you drink your cup of coffee, you go to work, you come home, and, and that's what you do. And, you know, the, the world has changed, and the, and the way people interact has changed. And gaming is a huge uh, subculture, uh, particularly for my generation moving forward. I mean, think about it, guys. Um, everybody that's... 20 i say 26 or, or younger now has grown up with a console uh somewhere super techno bowl mike tyson punch out nba jams mario sonic i mean just to name a few altered beast there these uh, somebody you knew or or either yourself have had a console so games are a fixture in your life so we have a different affinity for gaming than somebody who is a little older and didn't quite grow up with the games we had i mean these motherfuckers grew up with punk and i don't blame them i probably would quit gaming too if that was all i had it, 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 it was pong um <laughs> but you know we, we, we've come so far I, I feel like we still have a long way to go um and i also feel like gamers get a bad rap um you know we're we're sometimes called nerds sometimes called uh thugs or or whatever the case may be and that's and that's sad that people are so closed-minded to think that you know regular people don't play games and that is a fun pastime for people um, what do you guys think uh, oh dodge deaf deaf store i know he's pissed um but tell me what you guys think about gaming and about people that 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 say that there's a there's a time stamp on on gaming um I, I i love to hear it because i'll tell you i just don't think that's the case and i i think the future of gaming is is bright um because of games like call of duty and because of the internet so you know as the next consoles come out we'll see what we see and where we end up that's all i got for this video guys thanks a ton try to get you a decent gameplay decent not great <laughs> i'm out hit that subscribe button and like peace